So our missions, we've got all the slots used, so that's good. And we've paid for everything. Okay, Titan II research complete. And we have an orbital radio vehicle. Uncrewed mission training, yes, please. Launch date, guess we'll have to wait until December. That's fine. Uh, Soviet Union got the Mars orbit. Okay, more research. Well, now let's try commercial satellite. Our research is a little bit low right now, though. China will be launching the Mars Orbit mission. Let me just keep an eye on anybody else working on it. Not yet, so that's good. Multi-crew orbit in 10 months, but we've already got the first on that, right? Yeah. Anybody else working on EVA? They are. So we better get on that. Commercial satellite is next, actually, on the Earth ones. And nobody's working on that yet, but we're researching. Okay, orbital EVA vehicle complete. So we'll keep our edge in the crewed missions. Science mission training bonus increased by 100%. And the 10% payload reliability deduction. We need two crew. Everybody's available. Um... Like, uh, Miyamoto was the last to launch, but both are scientists. I suppose we should have a test pilot, or maybe we should have two scientists. We need the science bonus, so... Yeah. Oh, shoot, I forget. Uh, assign... Assign. There we go. And, yes, more science training. This is... Launch reliability. That could be good, though. But I really need the science, so... We're gonna focus on the science here. And march. Confirm mission setup. Okay, we are launching orbital radio now. Lucrative. We sure hope it is. Uh, conditions are... Looking good. Adequate only. Oh well. Let's see if we get some magic done. Okay, it has launched. Looks fine to me. And it's very good, actually. More payload reliability. And Lambda 4S, the launcher, uh, both parts look to be in better shape. Okay, well, this is a throwback to the earlier days of Mars Horizon. Uh, the simpler, simpler times. I'll just get one of those and one of those, and then we'll resist if necessary. Okay, that was successful. We got the visual data collection. Oh, well, I'm going to have to resist that. I want my two comms. Okay. I'll parlay one power and one comm for three of that. And then I'll try for two comms again, but we'll be short on charge, I think, so... Let's hope it works. Ooh, barely. Okay. 
Oh, also barely. Well, that's fine. Get the bad rolls out of the way. Not bad bad, but bad enough. We've got two turns remaining. We should be able to nail this. Okay, so three of those, and then we'll send one over to that. But then we don't have enough power to resist. Hmm. Maybe we'll wait on that second and recharge first. Okay. And we'll go with that, and we'll have one charge left for recharging. I'll go ahead and recharge power too. Alright, all good. Okay, and we got the bonus rewards, so we've got some cash. Gotta do those commercial satellites, that's where the real money is. Okay, funding review, that's also good for money. Um, we have some mission slots open now, though. One available. Hmm. You got some money, too, so... Let's see, Orbital EVA is pending. We have some requests. That's a lot of science. We need science. I want this Earth topography thing. Let me just check that there's no more science for the moon stuff. Far side of the moon. That's an ESA mission. I wonder what the benefits, real benefits of cooperation are. I'd rather foster cooperation with ESA. We haven't gotten a whole lot of chance to do that. How far along is ESA and all this business anyway? Um, they've at least done the lunar orbit before. And that's the only milestone here, so it's not bad. Japan working with ESA seems like a very normal thing. So let's see how onerous this is. Heaten, I mean, it should be a cheapy mission that's quick to build. This one, this Earth topography, we don't have the mission slots for. Okay, so the mission length is here. So if we go to the Mars mission, these have a longer mission length. 10 months. It's actually a 10-month mission here. So, yes, they do take that into account. All right. Well, we'll see about that joint mission with ESA. That's going to be interesting. Next month. we get to level 9? Not really. Hopefully we can get pretty pictures that will get us some more support. We've completed a few things. The far side of the moon mission. Payload. And uh, Nankina. I don't know what that means. Mars orbit mission. That's a nice launcher though. The cones are a little bit pointy. It should be a little bit roundy at the top, but anyway. Launch preparation. That's pretty good launch reliability. Mission training bonus sucks, though. We might as well focus on the science, yeah. And March seems good to me. It's gonna take a while for it to get there. So, far side of the moon view plan, build a vehicle. Minus 50% build time for level 0 vehicle parts. I didn't even know they had levels. <laughs> um, is that because we're working with ESA? I'm not clear on that. Maybe. 48% uh, partner discount applied, so that's how the collaboration works. So, we need 200 kilograms. This is 350. That's 800. That's 4,000, so we're going with the 350 Able stage, as we have done before. And Algol. Able Algol, we've done a lot. Really good launch reliability, not very expensive. Um, especially with the partner bonus. We could use the Moo launcher, but that's a 
we uh, we want to show our best face to our partners here after all so that would be best you may means dream so i guess that's a good one uh the payload reliability sucks though experimental payload hmm anyway we'll get to that when we get to that build vehicle So we we're all set as far as missions are concerned. Science, we're working on that commercial satellite thing. That's going to take a while if we don't get some more science. We're racking, raking in the bucks, but we need more science now. But we're going to launch that Mars orbit mission soon. No, oh, this orbital EVA. <laughs> I got confused again. Okay, orbital EVA. Yep, we'll get some science out of this too. Oh, and Mars orbit. Come on! No, I picked... What? Stop confusing me! <laughs> Do one launch at a time. Which one is this even? <laughs> it's raining, we'll delay it. Is it gonna be raining for the other one too? This is the Mars orbit mission. Okay, so they're not taking launch windows into account, I think. Because... Mars orbit missions can only be launched every two years, right? Bad conditions. You know what? 80% launch reliability. Screw it, let's go. <laughs> 5%. But yeah, I don't think they're thinking. Uh, they're taking those windows into account. And that's probably for the best, to be honest. That's a pain in the rear end. The launch windows, especially for Mars, are a pain. So I don't blame the developers for not taking that into account. Okay, good enough. Good enough. And the Delta K stage got some level up. Oh, that level zero. Okay, those level zero parts. Well... I definitely did not get a bonus for level 0 parts then. Enter Mars Transfer Orbit. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to make Earth Orbit first. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, thrust. Oh, that's thrust. That's the symbol for thrust. Okay. Hmm. I haven't seen that before. But thrust is important to us, yes. We only seem to get thrust with a combination of data and the comms. So let's get comms and is there an easy way to we can get data out of see if we do this we get two power for uh, two data for two power here if we just use one com and one nav we get four data so let's get some navs to do that and there's a modifier decaying thrust will be reduced minus one at the start of the next turn oh no um we need thrust right away though and we're not going to get comms. I mean, I think if it goes to minus one, doesn't that mean we deorbit? Zero is... Um, I don't know if we deorbit. I don't want to find out. <laughs> I don't want to find out. So maybe we should immediately get some data in. It's not the most efficient thing. At least we have four turns. So we won't do the Doppler tracking. We'll get the signal and we, we'll get some data. And we'll immediately get a calculated thruster burn. Just to make sure nothing untoward happens. And we barely got the signal attu attenuation test. Infrared spectroscopy. We really cut it close on a lot of these things. I guess that's efficient in a way. And calculate a thrust burn barely again. <laughs> barely. Got a lot of room up there for better results. Okay, we got four thrust. That's good. I want the bonus. So, I still like this conversion rate. And this time, we're in a better position. So, I want more power. Maybe we just need to recharge, because otherwise I don't have the opportunity to resist. And I like the opportunity to resist. 
I don't want resistance to be futile. Anyway, um, here we go. We need six snap, though. Okay, so... Two for nav. And we want more data so that we can eventually get thrust. Okay, and we'll still have one charge for resisting. That's good. Okay, four out of six there. It's gonna be tough to get that bonus though. And calculated thrust to burn is good too. Okay, so. Last turn already. Ooh. Yeah, we need the nav. I guess we'll just go for the requirement. I've only got one charge. So the most important thing is to convert to nav. We can recharge. And we don't we really can't get that calculated thrust to burn bonus like that. Because we don't have enough comms. Hmm, hold on. Um, we get a bonus nav here for this one, but we don't have an easy way to get just, let's see, let's, let me recharge. We can convert two to this to get that much nav, and then, but then we wipe out our power so I won't be able to resist. <laughs> uh... Shoot, let's just recharge like that and then I'll be able to resist and... But it's not as efficient as using the comms. Okay, so we'll use the comms to do that. And what do we want more of? It, it really doesn't matter actually, it seems. We'll just get more Doppler tracking. It doesn't get us to the bonus level either way. Okay, manual thrust implemented. And we can do that, but it's not going to have any positive effect for us. Okay. That's step one. There's two more steps like that. Gosh. Wait, Mars Orbit Ray for launch. I mean, uh, well, I, I think it's just a little bit behind. So we've launched. It's in progress. It'll be potentially complete in nine months. America's got 20 months. Jeez. Poor America. Um, ready to launch. Well, then let's launch the orbital EVA thing. Jeez. About to click next month. Oh, it looks sunny. Chibi! Good conditions. And off it goes. And the launch is good. Okay. Achieve Earth Orbit. Is the EVA a separate thing? Probably. 
Okay, well, let's take advantage of our crew. Wow, one power and one crew can give us a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do that. Mm, what can the data? They, data can be used for this. So I'll do that twice. And we'll resist the first one if we don't, uh, otherwise, we won't have the data for the other two. That's good. Wow, the payload. <laughs> I will need to focus on resisting. That's gonna have to happen, yeah. It's only a 15% bonus reward for the bonus there. Okay, we need to resist. Ooh, 1%. That's horrible. So functionally speaking, we need to think about the fact that we we require one extra power for those when that happens. We could use two comms to get five data. And they can get four comms out of this. That's a nice trade. Okay. We should really use our crew members more often, though. Let's see. Well, we're resisting. Whoa, ones and zeros. That's the first time I've seen that ones and zeros thing. Astronaut exhaustion. Jeez, we're only using one of them at a time. You could trade off. This command's output would re be reduced by one unless you spend... Well, okay, actually. You know, one data, I, I can be okay with just losing one data. Okay, oral realignment was successful. That is definitely not successful. One calm, it will be reduced by, that will get us to the requirement at least. I'll take it. As long as it's not two of a thing, I think I'll take it. So first, let's get both of them working on comms. And then we'll parlay one power and one comm into four nav. And we'll reserve two to resist if Nah, maybe we'll use one to get that over 10. And then we'll have one power to resist if necessary. Let's try that. Ah, well, here goes the resistance. Behold the resistance. Um, one calm. Nah, I'll accept it. The resistance wasn't necessary in this case. That one was good. Fly over course adjustment. Signal return test is also good. Okay, last turn though. If we really want to nail it, we need one comm and a whole lot of nav. Um, but we only have three slots, so that's not possible. Best we can do is... Well, maybe it is possible possible. We can trade the two data for that. That gets a, us one extra, but we really needed two extra. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't see Let me just try and think about what combinations we could do. See, we can do this only once unless we get some power. If we get two power, we can do that twice and get it to 19, but then we're short on the comms. 
Yeah, I don't think we can fulfill the bonus. And it's only a 15% bonus anyway. I'd like to put our astronauts to work a bit. So we'll get... We'll go ahead and spend our data. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead with this one. And that's the best we can do. That's probably the closest we can get to getting that bonus. Okay. I will resist this time. Shoot. And that one was good. Okay. 10 and 17. No bonus. But we have to conduct the EVAs now. Will we see an astronaut hanging out? I don't know. So... There's an EVA... a uh, uh, drift threat thing. Great precision is required. Keep the drift between negative 2 and 2. Failing will only fail the mission when no turns remain. Well, I don't know. Here we're spending drift. Here we're making drift. Okay. Do I even want to make drift? Will it make drift on its own? I don't know. So, we can spend some drift. We'll go negative two here and get four comms. Okay. And then here we'll make drift and get some data. And we can do that twice and end up at zero. Okay. Manual data collection failed. Oh, that's not good. That's a new one. Uh, cost an additional that unless I spend. I'll spend to resist. I don't want more drift. I'll keep it in the green zone. That just barely made it. Visual spectrum sampling. I hope we have the cameras. I didn't say anything about that. No, that one didn't work out very well. We're drifting. We're drifting. Let us resist the drift. Okay, well that that's pretty good. We've got three turns remaining as it is. And it's not adding drift randomly, so... We can do the same thing. Um, we'll get more data, but this time I'll recharge as well. Okay, that manual data collection was excellent this time. Ooh, poking buttons. We do have an astronaut, we have a glove at least. So that's, that's a good start. Optimize the communication software, okay. Very good. And visual spectrum sampling seems very good too. Well, good. It's good. We're on a roll here. We're at minus one though. So let's do that one again. And that'll get our bonus reward. And we can just use power to... Well, let's recharge one and then use power to get... Well... Maybe we should just go ahead and drift a bit. Sure. I guess a negative two. Okay, visual spectrum sampling worked again. So we don't need need more data. Manual data collection also worked. Okay, well, it accepted that as tasks complete, so we don't need, we don't even, oh, we have a perform controlled re-entry thing, but more fun, the heating thing, I remember that. 
Okay. This one's more annoying because it's got the fluctuating modifier here. So we've got two extra heat. We need to use some heat. And so we need data to use the heat. We'll have one of our guys use some power to collect some data and we can use the data and some nav to generate comms and we'll get rid of that two heat. Okay. And we can potentially resist. Um, we might as well nail the comms. Well, we've got the one data hanging out. We can do this orbital realignment and get that. Okay. Let's see how that shakes out. Like path control, very important to us. Data transmission is good. We didn't actually see an astronaut go outside for the EVA though. Orbital realignment is not good, but we will resist that, I think. Yeah, I want my comms. Okay. Well, we got one heat there. So, we can go ahead and get some more data like that. Flight path control stuff. And we get the data. We can spend the one heat we know we have. Okay, and I'll go with this flyover course adjustment. Okay, flight path control is good. That's pretty critical. I'm surprised this heat you, uh, heating thing wasn't required for the heat shield test mission. And flyover course adjustment is fine. And we got one heat there. Well, uh, we need four more comms anyway, so let's just go ahead with that. And I want to recharge. Um, I don't want to risk overheating though. I mean, we have to keep it below three. Hmm. Uh, maybe we have to get the data instead of doing that. So we'll get that. So we get the data and make sure we get rid of that heat. Like so. That gets us above 12 on the nav stuff. And we just need one more comm somewhere. But there's no way of getting that, so we'll just recharge. And that's gonna take our charge there. Okay, resist. Ground control connection is good. Oh, we right right away went to three heat. Um, we need ways to get rid of all the heat. Well, we're gonna need charge, and we're gonna need to get data. Five data would be better. Yeah, so we'll get the five data and then use the data to reduce the heat and get the comms. But then we could overheat if it gives us three heat at the end. I don't know if it gives heat at the end. It doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll be all right. Okay, and then we'll have one charge left in order to resist if necessary. Well, not necessary on conducting experiments. Conducting experiments during re-entry? Okay, well, I guess so. There are re-entry experiments. Well, we'll resist this data transmission failure. Okay, we've got it. 35% bonus there. 
All right, orbital EVA, though we didn't really see the little astronaut hanging out there. Okay, and we are the first to do that. Not much science bonus for that, but at least we got the public support. Spacewalk, achievement unlocked. Uh, you can't see that, but I got that achievement. All right, they're recuperating, and I think I will recuperate too. So at this point, uh, we have done orbital EVA, we've got a Mars orbit mission launched, and I think that'll do it for this episode. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.